Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. Y'all know me, I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you a feature exclusive to the 3P2 called Playlist Sharing. Now this feature allows you to share clips in your 3P2 playlists with speed changes and keyframe zoom and tracking with TriCaster models, TriCaster 2 Elite, TriCaster TC1, TC1 Pro, and the VMC1. That way, your TriCaster operators can manage and manipulate your captured clips however they like. A simple but very powerful tool, so let me show you how it's done, son. All right, 3Play 3P2 playlist sharing. Let's get into it. Here we are in the 3Play 3P2 interface, and I'm not going to do any capturing of any clips today. I'm just going to focus on the playlist here at the bottom of the screen. So I have a couple of different tabs open here, and the only tab that I currently have populated with clips is my playlist zero here. And I have three different clips in here, and I'm going to call your attention to this first clip. It does have a keyframe in there. Uh, and then also, I currently have the speed of that particular clip set to 50%, all right? And that'll make sense here in a second. Let me go ahead and just play that back so we can kind of see these clips. All right. So I've shown you that angle before. You'll see that on the timeline here, those are my little hash marks indicating that I have some keyframes in there that I have generated. And once we get to that, it'll go to the next clip, advance to the next one here, which is at 100%. So this is just the same play from a different angle. And then I also have another shot from down court. All right, so it's just playing these three clips that I have in my playlist here. All right, so what's cool about this is with the, uh, the playlist sharing, uh, I can share my, the clips that are in this playlist with my TriCaster operator, and they can then go through and, you know, edit those clips however they want, put transitions into it, kind of deal with it on, on their side of things, okay? So what's cool about this as well is when you have both of those systems connected to the same network, you don't need to configure anything or push any buttons to start sharing this from the three play side. All you have to do is start dropping in clips and you are good to go. So now let me move over to my TriCaster 2 Elite interface and show you how to bring in those clips. All right, now from here, basically what I can do is I can load those clips into any DDR that I have. And to do that, we'll just click in the DDR and right click anywhere on the, uh, the blank spot of the DDR. And you'll see here at the bottom, I have an option for load three play playlist, okay? And if I hover over that, you'll see that I can select for multiple three plays if you have uh, multiple systems uh, on your network. Uh, I happen to be here at NewTek and I have a couple of different three plays, but I'll just focus on the one that I was working on just a second ago, which is this top one here. And if I hover over that, you will see that my playlist zero, which is the only tab that currently has clips in it, I can go ahead and select that. And boom, those are those three clips. Okay, so now that I'm in the TriCaster, I, you know, my three-play operator can go back to you know capturing different replays, and my three my TriCaster operator can start manipulating these clips however they want. You know, add transitions, uh, trim them up a little bit, etc. And you'll see here on this first clip. Uh, remember that that one had keyframes in it and I had the speed set to 50%. You'll see right here at the bottom that that is currently set to 50% as well. So what's cool about this? is I'm the TriCaster operator and I say, eh, I want to make that a different speed. I can right click on it, go to speed and set that to 100% and now it's back the way I want it. And if I could play that clip out, you'll see my DDR1 still has my keyframes in there, but now it is 100% speed, which is awesome. Okay, now a really cool feature about that is since these uh, are the, the clips are being shared, I didn't render those clips out or anything. I'm basically just sharing the clip. I can edit the ins and out points of those. So for example, you'll see here at the timeline, the start point is way over here, which is the uh, in point that I had created on the three play. But if I wanted to, I can move that around however I wanted to. I can set the in point way over here so I can see the beginning of that play just by clicking set in, boom. And then I can create a new out point as well. So you can move backwards and forwards in time inside of these clips. So that is a really cool and powerful feature to do that. And once those are loaded in there, you can treat them like you would any other DDR clip. You don't have to worry about it. You could even clear the clips out of the playlist on the three play and you still have access to these clips. Okay, now one other thing I want to show you here is, like I said, with the three play on my interface right now, I only have these three clips into playlist zero, which is why that only appeared there. So let me go ahead and grab another clip and put it into playlist one. So now I have that. 
And let's move back over to the TriCaster 2. And I will right click in my DDR, go to Load Playlist, go back to my 3Play. And now you'll see that Playlist 1 appears because I now have another clip. And if I click on that, boop, there it is. Good to go. So a really cool and powerful feature within the 3Play 3P2 in conjunction with your TriCaster 2 Elite, TriCaster TC1, TC1 Pro, and VMC1. So you can start to move clips back and forth and as always, play around with it and have some fun. So as you can see, a simple but powerful technique of sharing your clips between 3Play and TriCaster. If you like this video and want some more tutorial videos on new tech products, be sure to subscribe to the new tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash new tech Inc. And for formal new tech product training, check out new tech university at newtech.com slash new tech U. And to find out more about new tech products and services, Contact your local reseller or visit newtech.com, our website. Hey. You can also attend a free new tech product demonstration in the comfort of your own home by signing up at newtech.com slash demo. It is free 99, highly recommended. And as always, if you're posting your work on social media using new tech products, be sure to tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. And I'll see you again soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.